Hello kiddos, it's your old pal Toymaker here, and welcome to my little tutorial on the Logitech Brio and how you can set it up for your OBS to use it to the best of its abilities. Or, as my experience would go. So, how can you actually set this up? Normally, people judge it by what it looks like immediately and not what it can really do. They put it in the poor light settings and it looks blurry or it looks heavily pixelated or it looks like it has a ghosting effect. Most YouTubers, when they review it, they only show what you can do, what what it has default, how what it has to start out with. But they don't exactly show you how you can actually really set it up and how you can actually use it effectively. So I'm going to show you how you can actually use it effectively. How you can actually make it look better make it look like a professional youtube content creation camera it's a 4k webcam for a reason and 1080p 60 fps makes everything better it makes a huge difference believe it or not so what you see here is obviously the obs self-explanatory actually so when you order your uh, brio or pick it up from a store you'll obviously like when you open up the package you'll get download links for the logitech camera setting and the brio updater those are pretty self-explanatory once you deal once you download those two things and you have your uh and you have your logitech brio all set up as well be sure to plug it in to your pc before you start it up so Otherwise, it would ask you to restart your PC so it sets it up properly. So, obviously, if you've been around OBS and content creation long enough, you'll obviously know to go down this setting here to video capture device, and there's my Brio right here. So, I'm just gonna add this right here. And what do you know? Here I am. Now, here's the problem that most, even bigger YouTubers, like tech reviewers, have. See my hand, that ghosting effect? That doesn't really look good, doesn't it? Most people would give, well, give Logitech, even other cameras, like, they would give them a lot of crap for that, just because of the small effect. Some of you out there may be okay with this, but others want some perfect quality content. When you have this ghosting effect, it doesn't make it look professional, does it? So what I'm going to show you is how you can actually make it look better to where it doesn't have that ghosting effect and it actually looks like a professional camera or a webcam. And yes, do mind that the pixelation does make it look off, but that's because I'm using my ceiling fan and my, uh, my lamp right beside my desk to actually light up this whole thing. So also no, note that the Slipknot shirt, I'm not sponsored. Please, please don't sue me. Anyway, uh, so let's go down here. Uh, man. I'm gonna need to close, I'm gonna need to shrink this down a bit in order to actually show you the settings. So what you see right down here, obviously, how do you prevent this ghosting effect? How do you make your uh, webcam look better? So what you're going to do is right click here, go to properties, and then you see this thing obviously right here go to video capture device and you see these other settings right here what i personally do is bring okay first before we do that sorry about that i forgot this little thing here here are the logitech camera settings that i'm going to show you here so obviously here's the Here's the settings here, the basic settings that you would see. Personally, I would bring contrast all the way down because look how it makes everything look brighter and clearer. You bring contrast all the way up, okay, I look like I'm in a horror movie or something. No, I would personally bring contrast all the way to zero. Don't touch anything else, everything is fine. There's a reason for all of it, and you know what? It actually makes it all better. So you can either choose to go 78, bring it closer, 65, sure, why not, but I prefer to have it there and maybe widescreen or standard, whichever you prefer. HDR, keep that on all the time. And I would personally just bring this setting, like bring this down, bring it closer to my face when I use in webcam settings. So how do I make this thing better? Well, first let me just pull this thing out. How do you actually... Let's get back to right here. Sorry about that. So I'm just rambling. 
So you go here, go to capture video, configure video. Also remember to keep these settings here if you're, if you don't know what you're doing. 1080p, match output FPS, and also any format. You would also need to go to your camera settings and set that up. Okay, sorry, I don't know what happened there. You would also need to go to your camera settings in order to, like, when you go right here, you would also need to set it up in camera. There's usually, it would usually show up right there or with the gear tab right there. You can also set it up. It's pretty self-explanatory. It'll, it's easy. I promise. Even the novice would know this, but it's pretty, it, it, you can actually figure it out. So go to configure video and you see all this. They'll tell you that the settings will not save no matter what. That's not entirely true because every time I pull up my OBS, this contrast is always down. However, it will, will not save and this is crucial what I'm going to show you to make your webcam not do this ghosting effect anymore. So, you see low light compensation? There's a reason why you should turn that off. Because low light compensation makes your webcam work hard, or this is what I've learned from other tech, re tech channels, reviews, whatever. It makes your webcam work harder and therefore take away any performance. So it's going to make your well, the quality of your video look, well, worse significantly. So how do you fix that? Well, you simply just turn it off and apply it and look how everything look at me now look at me now now i don't have that ghost effect the script the area around me is yes darker but now do you see a ghost effect no you see my arm just you see my hands just waving as it should be and as for the whole auto focusing well hold on i would have to open up my window for that However, now the camera is actually working as it should be. Now it looks like a professional camera without the whole ghosting effect. But how do you deal with the whole pixelation and how do you deal with everything being darker? That is simple. Get yourself more lighting. I have my ceiling fan on and I have my uh, lamp with a daylight bulb. On. However, I do plan on getting rid of that and or not getting rid of the lamp, just changing light bulb to a soft white because daylight makes my skin look absolutely pale and I don't want to look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. My arm is not as white as you might think it is. Like, when I bring it up to the ceiling fan, you can actually see how tan I am. So, you can... It, it's everybody's preference to what you want. Daylight may be the brightest, but soft white actually gives you color in your skin. So... How can you actually make yourself also look brighter? Yes, add more light. But here's the thing, opening up your window is actually very, very helpful, especially in my videos. I'm gonna turn off my lights and open up uh, my window real quick to show you what I mean. So this is what everything looks like when my window is open, low light compensation is off, everything looks as it should be, as a professional webcam or a camera should be now no ghosting effects everything looks brighter i got the sun outside not directly in my eyes as it's right behind my house but it's reflecting off of everything from trees to grass to everything else that light could possibly reflect off of and it's actually helping a lot it actually makes me look more tan than i actually am i mean i am sort of tan but if I were using light bulbs like a daylight bulb and maybe some soft white it would actually make my skin look more pale and I do not want that I don't want to have a ghostly look on my face I don't want to look pasty white I want to look like I actually have some color so how do you set this up in a webcam well that's actually easy you've already I'm pretty sure many of you out there already know. If you're starting content creation, you already know how to set this up with a webcam. However, recently, I'm going to show you how this actually goes on working as well. Or how you can actually group it together. Because at the time I'm recording this, OBS has recently updated to 22.2 .2, where you can actually group things together. So I'm going to just remove this real quick and show you what it looks like when I'm uh, 
when you add a couple things, when you group a couple things together. Actually, hold up. I need to. Uh, actually, hold up. Here's the group and webcam. Now look at this. Now look at this now. Or this is what I actually have my camera up to when it's on the. There's a reason why I actually zoomed up uh, in the OB in the Logitech settings. This is actually why I, why anyone would actually want to bring their image up closer. So, okay, now we're perfect. Now we're good. And okay, no more of that. So basically. The new grouping system is where you can actually group them together. The option to group, hold on. The option to group is all the way up rear and you just have, all you have to do is just drag a couple things down to together under group and you can rename it as you would any other OBS setting. And I have the overlay right here and the Brio down below. And as you can see, you can actually like Grouping actually just mixes them together into one image so you don't have to mess around like with so many settings trying to like link them all together trying to chain them it actually just puts them together for you and you can move around as if both of these both of these settings or overlays are actually together it helps quite a lot so that's Basically all I can really show you today. I, I'm hoping it makes you I'm hoping it makes everything easier for you once again uh, So I should warn you by the way when you're on the uh, What when you turn on your OBS every single time be sure to go to properties and be sure to configure your video and turn off a little like compensation every time it will not save that every single time as soon as you restart your computer and turn on OBS again, the low light compensation will turn right back on. So please don't attack me if there's suddenly you see blurring effect. Just go right back to the camera control settings, turn it off, apply, and that fixes everything once again. So as for the contrast settings, it will save that, but it will not save the low light compensation setting for some reason. So just remember to turn that off whenever you can and in order to fix all the lighting just either get yourself more lights ring lights soft boxes lamps ceiling fans with lights or just open up a big huge window like I have and you're pretty much good from there everything else you can do whatever you want and I pretty much showed you what I can so if you like this video Please leave a like, leave a comment if you have any other ideas or if there's anything that I missed, please let me know. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see any of my gaming videos or any more tutorials that you may or may not need help with. I'm happy to help if I can, and that's a big if. So, laters. You think I'm so weak, but I'm not at all. Am I looking like this?